Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. We're going to be taking a look at the World Eater Hard Mode. This is another one that the hard mode is the actual original version of the dungeon, with Extreme being the advanced one. If this guide helps you out at all, then please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it does help me out. This dungeon will pitch you against Leviathan, the Primal of Water. Leviathan will always start off on the northern side of the ship, where your main tank will want to pick him up. After he gets down to 90% of his HP, he'll go underneath the water, and you'll have to look out for a large water spume to see which side of the ship he is going to be landing on. You will want to move to the opposite side of the ship as he will slam down on this side, causing everyone to be moved this way. At this time, when the main tank will want to pick up the head, where the off tank will want to pick up the tail. The head will have a buff on it that makes it so that it reflects ranged physical damage. So ranged physical damage dealers will want to focus on the tail, and the tail will have a buff on it that reflects magical damage, so magic casters will want to focus on the head melee are able to move between any of them. During this time, the boss will also spawn two Sahagan units that will need to be picked up and killed as soon as possible. Each time these adds are spawned, they do come in pairs of two, and you will want to kill them as quickly as possible, as they will, if left alive too long, they will begin casting large AoEs on the party. When the Gyre Spewum spawn, then you will want to immediately kill those as they will drain the Elemental Converter, which you will need to use to survive the Tidal Wave. The tanks should be in positioning themselves in the corners of the areas next to the head and tail, so that the AoEs that the heads and tails do do not hit anyone else. When he runs away again, then you will want to use the elemental converter in the middle of the room to survive the tidal wave. And then position yourself on the opposite side of where he's going to be landing on the platform again. Enmity will remain from the previous portion of the fight, so the main tank and off tank will want to go back to their respective sides, depending on where the tail and head are. The rest of the fight will continue like before Tidal Wave, where you'll just kill the Sahagans as soon as they spawn, while focusing down the head and tail. They have a shared health pool, so once you kill one, then both dies. And this should be it for the World Eater Hard Mode. I hope this helps everyone out. If it does, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on the next one.